Hello. In this short video, I want to quickly guide you um, through Transform Map. Transform Map is a great initiative uh, from the open source peer-to-peer uh, -peer sustainability initiatives movement. And what it basically wants to and aims to do is mapping all alternatives um, that are available globally, all initiatives that could potentially contribute to a degrowth society and um, this is a great initiative I believe and um, it's definitely necessary to, to plot all these kind of small grassroots movements and initiatives on one centralized map and have them categorized um, according to a certain typology um, to get a good overview of what is available to share knowledge and to quickly connect to someone who's probably doing the same as you want to do um, and maybe even in, in the same region. So, uh, as you can see, I'm on the transformmap.co website. That's the main website of the initiative. Um, and um, I selected a concrete project, a concrete initiative that I would like to plot on the map, which is not yet on the map. Um, this initiative is called The Duck Town. It's a restaurant, a cafe uh, in Utrecht in the Netherlands. Um, it only serves organic products and um, what it basically is it, it tries to kind of represent an um, ecosystem approach so here you can see some pictures from the Ducktown um, it's located on out of campus of the University of Utrecht um, on an old kind of unused um, space of a parking garage for cars um, so the basic idea is that in the season in which the parking garage is not fully used, why not make use of that empty space, as you can see here, it's just like basically asphalt. Why not make use of that space for an environment which is for students and for employees of a university to come together and think about and then just enjoy an alternative lifestyle. So in that way they serve uh, certain producers, um, such as, you know, organic food, cakes, coffee, uh, but also burgers, vegan burgers, etc. And they provide a nice uh, living atmosphere. Okay, so that being said, I want to map the duck town in Utrecht on the map. So I go back to transformmap.co and if I scroll down, um, well, there are certain maps, there's a certain map to, to select from the currently four available maps. Um, in that categorization, I would choose for organic map because mainly the Dactan, what the Dactan does is uh, selling organic products in the form of a cafe restaurant. So I click on organic map and just to double check that I select the right map, I open this slider and it says it tells me this map displays places where you can get stuff organically produced well in that sense given that the duck town um, sells stuff that is produced organically and regionally I basically have these two possibilities but still I believe that in that sense um, the organic map is much it's much better than a regional map um, so what do I have to do while well, the map is still loading and not showing all the tiles? I click on search and I search for out of Utrecht. Let me see. Yes. So it finds um, it finds it. So this is the out of um, this is the campus. And now I have to just orientate myself. Where are we here? Heilberg Laan. Leuven Laan. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, Casa Confetti. I quickly have to orientate myself. Give me a second. Cambridge Laan. Mm, yes. Okay. So, if I'm not totally missed taken then the duck town is located on this parking 
garage yeah so knowing that um, I click on the pencil on the ID in order to start editing the map the map itself is based on the open source open street map project uh, and it just basically adds layers on top of that open street map engine that being said you need to have an open street map account in order to start editing um, the maps so first you would have to go to openstreetmap.org uh, register an account and once you have your account activate come back to transform map and um, click on this ID button to start editing okay so this is the place for the duck town it's in the map it's not plotted yet as you can see um, so I click here on point and I add this point here so just to double check that it doesn't exist yet the duck town no it does not that's good because now we edit we're adding the duck town um, so it's food and drinks we can just to double check and make sure that you have selected the right one you can check all categories well, it's not also it's it in a sense it's also community so sometimes as you see it's it's difficult to to map um, an initiative based on just one um, category because many of them um, serve multiple purposes but here we go for food and drinks so let me see is it a food corp is it a marketplace it's kind of a bar or cafe I would say it's a cafe so so the name we enter the duck town the needs fulfilled well it definitely gives serves food and drinks um, it provides also some workshops and events on the duck town so it's also a culture it is let me see mobility it has nothing to do it doesn't provide any housing um, it's a free space because you find spaces to meet hang out or do whatever you want so it's about uh, is it about knowledge and skills mm, it's definitely a community yeah I would say this is the main categories um, to choose for the duck town so as you can see also you know why there are many possibilities probably to, to fit a certain project into categories and to tag them you know uh, concern yourself and think about the most important and like the most important ones um, so self-description let me see it's about well I would say it's for the economy for the common good um, so local chapters of the economy for the common good and corporate bodies that have created a certified balance of the economy for the common good because it's not an eco village it's no 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 it's not for the commons yeah transition initiative it's no yeah so let's go for the economy for the common good hopefully I'm, I'm doing it right here uh, mode of interaction it's uh, let me see it's buy and sell because sharing mm -hmm. see as you can see it's still a little bit tricky um, uh, it's definitely not no no it's basically you, you can't sell anything yourself well but you can just buy um, but let's choose that one so it's definitely regional food and um, they have all kind of different um, cooking styles so in that say in that sense I would just go international 
So also given that it's a very international community with many exchange students also visiting the Dak Town. Um, so yes, we have Wi-Fi from a university you know, close by. Let us check the address. So here we'll go on, on the website and um, we select street a duck from Heidelberglan 3 its postcode yep and it's in Utrecht okay I'm not exactly sure about the opening hours let me see do they say anything about it oh yeah so here they say Sunday until Wednesday 11 until 7 so let me just copy that and paste it here smoking well I mean the duck town is basically an open space without coverage without a roof so um, it's allowed um, but they also have a small kitchen a small kitchen batch in which it's of course not allowed to smoke so I would say these are the most important elements scroll down quickly check it and that's a nice uh, feature of an open source uh, map that everybody can contribute check it and if he, he or she finds any mistakes and errors can just change it and uh, change it and update it so in that sense I would say I'm, I'm done I did my best to map the duck town I click on save yeah commit message you can um, change your comment message I would say I edit the duck town in Utrecht to transform map um, yes you know here you can see you, this is a confirmation that you're indeed logged in uh, on open street maps with your account my this is my account name uh, it will be visible on all maps that use open street map data yes this is my change that I want to confirm let's click on save and it's uploading changes to the underlying engine of transform map which is called open street map there we go you just edited the open street map the changes should appear in the standard layer in a few minutes so let us open that one in a new tab uh, oh just double check I now realize I might have made a mistake plotting it here <laughs> which is the university library building in fact it should be here just realizing that now oh yay so what to do um, can I still edit it I'm not sure we can reload the map and I think so as, as it said before uh, your changes will be visible within a few minutes so what I will do now um, I will stop the screencast here at this point um, wait for the changes to appear on the map and then I will immediately correct it and place the marker from here to here the rest should be fine so I hope that um, you know this screencast made it a bit more easy to understand how to use and contribute to the open source um, initiative transform map and as you can see I'm also not I mean I just started using it and um, I got confused myself how should I use that how can I contribute to this great project and I didn't know uh, and in the forum of transform that they gave me some guide got some guidance and some step outlined some steps what to do um, in order to add something to the map and I decided well I think it would be a great thing to have a screencast showing that um, in a video so hopefully that was useful enjoy mapping the world and make thereby make it a better place and uh, goodbye